Healthcare in the Philippines is not exactly cheap. According to Insular Life, an average hospital stay could set you back at 2,500 a night for a private hospital, while ICU stays could cost 30,000 pesos a night. A small house in Manila might set you back to a minimum of $500 per month, which is going to eat into the budget quite a bit. So that is a total of 7,770, maybe a little bit more or less. Hey, it's Mira Beauty! In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to live in the Philippines with only $1,000 per month budget. Is it really possible to live with an amount that is considered so little in your country? Of course, it is in Asia, especially in countries like Thailand, Vietnam, Philippines, Indonesia. For starters, you should be willing to ditch the accessories and unnecessary things that you enjoyed in your home country, like buying nice phones, laptops, going out to eat, going out for drinks often. These are just some of the things that you'll likely sacrifice on this sort of budget. First things first, $1,000 is about 54,000 pesos as of today's conversion and $1 just plays within the 50 to 55 pesos range. That may or may not sound a lot to you, so we'll get into the details so you get a fuller picture. Obviously, there are plenty of houses for rent throughout the Philippines. A small house in Manila might set you back to a minimum of $500 per month, which is going to eat into the budget quite a bit. So, if you want to live in the Philippines for $1,000 per month or less, you need to get away from the capital city. But if you're really a high flyer and used to the concrete jungle of urban areas, then going for a one-bedroom apartment in cities like Davao City, Dumaguete, Bacolod, rents there can range between $155 to $250 per month. So renting apartments in more suburban areas is roughly 25 to 35% cheaper, which can save you a lot of money in the long run. Utilities aren't too pricey either as $40 to $50 will cover moderate usage of electricity. Moderate usage is not using aircon 24 hours, 7 days a week. I know the heat in the Philippines is too much to handle for some of you, but this can be sorted out by using electric fan in most days. If you are gonna use your aircon 24-7, It'll probably cost you around 4,000 to 7,000 pesos monthly. That's your consumption only on your aircon. But you can also opt for a hybrid. What I mean by hybrid is to use an electric fan when you don't feel that hot and only use aircon when you really need it. It is also recommended to only use inverter appliances as much as possible for much lower electricity consumption. Okay, now let's see how much should you spend on food. Filipino food is delicious somehow and varied. What you eat will indicate how much you spend and vice versa. If you decide to eat at home and cook your own food, it'll be easy to stick to a $200 food budget per month. Do you know why Filipinos can even live with as low as 5,000 pesos monthly on food? Because we eat the cheapest and locally grown vegetables and crops that are available in our barangay. They don't um, buy expensive vegetables like cauliflowers and broccolis because mostly those vegetables, you can only find those in the town proper. They don't buy fresh meals either. Most people only drink instant coffee and um, instant noodles in the morning. If you eat like that, you'll be able to lower your cost of living. But I don't know if you guys can do that. So let's just be realistic for you. Because even just with $1,000 monthly, you'll still be able to live a comfortable life. And I'll show you how. So with food, I'm gonna start with the prices. And I also want to remind you that buying your groceries in open market can save you a lot of money. Although there are some products that you can only buy in supermarkets, in shopping malls like SM Supermarket, Pure Gold. Let's first begin with the foods that you can buy in the open market. These are the prices of the primary foods that we eat. One piece of an egg is eight pesos. And personally, I eat at least two pieces every day. They're cheap easy to cook, and very nutritious. The price of chicken varies depending on the kind of cut, but one whole chicken in the wet market is 200 per kilo. The price of beef is 600 per kilo. By the way, you can buy a steak cut meat in supermarkets. 
is a lot cheaper than eating steaks in restaurants. Pork meats ranges from 300 to 370 pesos per kilo. And there is a variety of fish in the market too. Pampano, my favorite is 400 per kilo. Salmon is 400 to 500 per kilo. Milk fish or bangus is 200 pesos per kilo. These are delicious fishes you can buy available in supermarkets and open markets. How about the prices of vegetables? Onions from 800 pesos is now down to 350 pesos per kilo. Beans 10 pesos per pack. Rice is 50 pesos per kilo. And the following are the goods that you can buy in supermarkets. Fresh milk is 90 pesos per one liter in grocery stores. Fruits and vegetables will vary depending on whether you buy them at the open market or in supermarket. But surely some cost less than the equivalent in the US. If you want vegetables like zucchini, mushrooms, red radish, you have to go to the supermarket because those vegetables are important. The food is one reason why people suggest that the cost of living in the Philippines in US dollars is very low. Even if you decide to eat out regularly actually, a decent meal at a food stall or carinderia costs like around 120 pesos. If you're not very picky, you can actually eat every day in carinderias. Carinderia is like a food stall. It's a small eatery with a small seating area, typically in a market or at a roadside. And believe me, you can still save a lot of money even if you eat in carinderias every day. If you decide to spoil yourself with a three-course dinner at a mid-range restaurant, you're looking around $15 for one person. Alcohol is relatively inexpensive as well, as a pint of Filipino beer is around 50 pesos, while 12 ounce import costs around 70 pesos. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention strongly advise buying bottled water. They warn that the tap water in the Philippines is unsafe to drink, but bottled water is cheap since a 1.5 liter of water costs just 65 cents. But I suggest buying your own water jug. This water jug will only cost you 50 pesos and just refill it. As long as you're not in the middle of the mountain, water refilling stations are easily accessible. And refill of this jug is only 50 pesos. Now that's really cheap instead of buying one liter of uh, bottled water every time. Now let's see how much you'll probably spend in one month. Let's assume you have a one bedroom apartment for $200 per month. Your utility bill including internet and water is 4,000 pesos. That is the considered moderate consumption. And I'm assuming these are the foods you're gonna buy um, because I've researched what are the foods that um, people in the West usually buy. So 3 dozens of egg is 300 pesos, 3 kilos of chicken is 600 pesos, 1 kilo of sausage is 200 pesos, 1 kilo of onions is 300 pesos, 2 kilos of banana, is 160 pesos, one kilo of garlic is 150 pesos, four packs of loaf bread is 320 pesos, one kilo of carrots is 170 pesos, cereals of 400 grams is 600 pesos, peanut butter of 480 ounce is 600 pesos, two packs bacon is 520 pesos, four pieces steak is 720 pesos, and other vegetables 3,000 pesos. I included an allowance for the vegetables. I don't really know what kind of vegetables do you guys like buying or eating. So the 3,000 pesos of only allotted for vegetables is a lot for a month. So that is a total of 7,770. Maybe a little bit more or less. Cooking gas is 800 pesos, but you don't really need that. Just buy an induction cooker. It is less hassle for you. And also you don't really need to own a washing machine and buy your own laundry soaps because you can easily drop your laundry off at the laundry shop for as low as 30 pesos per kilo to wash, dry, iron, and fold. Or if the nearest laundry shop is one right away, from your place and you don't really want to go through the hassle of taking a ride, taking a jeep or a tricycle just to clean or wash your laundry. You can make an agreement with someone in your neighborhood to wash your laundry. Transportation, the minimum fare in jeepneys is 12 pesos and also riding a tricycle is also fun and cheap with a minimum fare of 20 pesos per head. So all in all, the total is 20,870 pesos or $380, but let's round it off to 22,000 to include other small expenses like your transportation.
you still have 32,000 pesos or $592 left. With that, you can still eat out at least twice a week or even if you eat in Carinderia three times a day. Now with what's left on your budget, you can easily avail a health insurance. I think it is very important for you guys to get insured if you want to live in the Philippines. Even if the cost of living here in dollars is very, very low. Because healthcare in the Philippines is not exactly cheap. According to Insular Life, an average hospital stay could set you back at 2500 a night for a private hospital, while ICU stays could cost 30,000 pesos a night. But I think that's gonna be for another video. Okay, so in general, if you live like a local, you can live comfortably on $1,000 per month. Even though the majority of expats generally spend much more than locals do, especially over the long run. And because of this, I don't often discuss how to live on $1,000 per month in, in the Philippines or just how to live on a low budget in general. Because while it is possible, I don't want to give you the impression that the Philippines is incredibly cheap and that you can live like a king on really little money because for some people, this budget can allow for a comfortable lifestyle and others may view it as barely getting by. And also another drawback of living on this budget is that you'll probably get bored at, at some point. There will be days when it seems like there is nothing to do if you live in a small town in the province. Perhaps some of you might find that enjoyable though. But don't worry, if you got used to living like a local, you'll be surprised on how much money you can actually save with your $1,000 budget in the long term. And with the amount of money you can earn or you can save in the long term, you'll be able to do more activities that you like. Okay, so there you have it. That is what to expect living on $1,000 per month budget in the Philippines. If you enjoyed this video, a like and subscribe would be much appreciated. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Another is in the activities that you like to do. You can travel around the Philippines. You can...